Hi friends, I am Shuman and welcome to ASA Technical. Today, I am going to show you how to fix no bootable device problem. Unfortunately, when you start your computer and laptop, sometimes you are facing such a problem like no bootable device. There are few reasons behind no bootable device. Number 1. Incorrect boot order. Number 2. Partition not set as active. Number 3. Hard disk failure. Well, don't worry about it. By following these instructions in this video, you can easily get the solution of this problem. Well, let's get started. This error will appear if primary partition, I mean, where the OS is installed, if the partition is no longer set as active. Well, to set the primary partition as active, you need an original Windows installation media. Can be Windows 10, 8 or 7. And just follow the instructions exactly. At first, insert the original Windows installation CD or DVD. And just restart your computer. To restart, press and hold the Ctrl and Alt keys on the keyboard and then press the delete key and be ready to enter your PC's BIOS. Alright, then go to boot menu and select CD or DVD and boot from that. As you can see, and be ready to press any key to boot from inserted CD or DVD. Then click on next and then click on repair your computer. Alright, click on troubleshoot option. Then choose advanced option. Next click on command promo. Now type the command disk part and then press enter. Next type the command list disk and then press enter. Next type the command select disk 0 and then press enter. Now you have to type list partition and hit enter. Then you have to select which one is the primary partition where the operating system was installed. Next type the command select partition 1 and hit enter. Next type the command active and hit enter. Next type the command exit and then press enter. Now finally type the command exit and hit enter. and just turn off your PC just patient for a while
and then turn the PC back on. Yes, now you can see the fix boot from the Windows boot loader. And now remove the Windows installation CD or DVD. Well, let me show you. As you can see that now primary partition status shows active. Alright, again I am going to reboot my PC to see both OS working properly or not. Yeah, as you can see Windows 10 and Windows 7 both OS working properly. At first, just restart your computer. To restart, press and hold the Ctrl and Alt keys on the keyboard and then press the delete key and be ready to enter your PC's BIOS. Alright, then go to boot menu. Now select boot mode option. Then select boot mode and then press enter. Then change the boot order. Note, if your PC's OS is installed in legacy BIOS mode, then select the legacy. Or if your PC's OS is installed in UFI BIOS mode, then select the UFI. Now I select legacy because my PC's OS is installed in legacy boot mode. Well, then just OK and OK. Then go to exit menu, select exit, saving changes option to save configuration changes. Then select yes and press enter, that's it. Alright, now your PC will reboot. Yeah, done. Now, as you can see, the computer's boot is fixed from Windows bootloader. Alright, again I am going to reboot my PC to see both OS working properly or not.
Yeah, as you can see, Windows 10 and Windows 7 both OS working properly. We hope you will like. Of course, let us know your opinion. If you have any questions, then please let us know. Please like, comment, and share. We need your support. And guys, please don't forget to subscribe our channel. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Have a nice.